Good morning to all my awesome friends and family. Thank you so much for stopping by. I'm joining in with my awesome friend Penny at Penny's Place. She is an awesome channel, always has great content up on her channel, lots of variety and lots of inspirational talks along with a lot of beautiful home decor and challenges. Today I'm joining in with her on a summer tear trade collab hosted by at Penny's Place. Please go check out her channel. She's an awesome creator and I know you're going to love her if you're not already following. Now what is Grandma doing for this challenge? Well it looks like Grandma's going to be doing a three tier tray that is a 4th of July theme. I would shop my house, shop my garden, and until I found enough red, white, and blue pieces to use. I did buy a couple new pieces for this, but not much. Most everything you see here are things I already owned and had. I did buy the fireworks from Michaels, and I did buy 10 bunches of flowers from, from Dollar Tree with a red, white, and blue theme about a month ago, and now I'm going to use them. All the other pieces you saw I've used in other posts. I've had them out and about at different times. But the theme is still the same. Red, white, and blue. And of course, a little bit of the American flag here and there. And the beautiful barn that I have in the background. I found that last year at Cracker Barrel. Can you believe it at Cracker Barrel? It is such a great, great place to buy all kinds of things. And this was one of my favorite finds. Wasn't too expensive either. Well, what do you think? I thought I did a pretty good job by shopping the house, the garden. I found enough little pieces to share with you. And oh, I forgot to mention the red apple tree. I just bought that for a dollar, I don't know, dollar thirty cents or something. Hardly any money at all. Bought it at a little store here in town. And I said, that would be perfect to add to what I already have. So I thought it turned out pretty good. We tried to keep in the farming theme with the uh, 4th of July also, as you can tell. My fairies are little characters that come from my farms. And of course, I had the cute little rocking horse and the cute little chair with the red cushion. And the little beads, I have a collection of colored beads, so I grabbed some of them. And then I had my little fairy that sits on the hay bale and she brought her little piglet friends. And I thought it turned out super cute. What did you think? Let me know in the comments section. I was really pleased how this turned out. And I think I'm getting better all the time putting things together. Of course, I'm also collecting a few pieces here and a few pieces there. And eventually I have a really nice collection. That's why every year it gets looking better, but I'm not really spending a lot more money, if any more money, because I'm reusing and repurposing as much as possible to make beautiful displays. I couldn't believe how beautiful these flowers were that I got at Dollar Tree. They were a great buy, and I don't know if they still have them because I bought them about a month ago. But when I saw them, you know I snagged them right up. And when I was over at Michael's, I saw this great thing that looks like fireworks. Oh my gosh, it was great too. And this is something I can bring out every year for the 4th of July or Memorial Day. I thought it was a great investment and it's a beautiful piece. And now I have all these red, white, and blue pieces that I can use for other posts in the future. And that's how I build up what I have. And every one of these items I'm not getting rid of or throwing away. I'm going to reuse them again next year because they work perfectly together. And I may add a few new pieces that I didn't have and I'll buy one or two new pieces. But most of the things I use are reused and repurposed from other posts. Hope you enjoy what I'm putting together and how this three tier post turned out. Thank you. 